What is up in Power Her community? I am Coach Evan Ruiz and I'm coming to you from Los Angeles, California, where I am a personal trainer and I am personally bringing you a 20 minute workout where we're going to get the glutes going, firing to protect our knees during the Falmouth race, and then we're going to hit a little hit circuit. After that, we have two rounds of each exercise. Um, so it's going to be four rounds total. Everything's going to be body weight. I have my yoga mat. Definitely have some water because staying hydrated is going to help our muscles recover. And especially if you stay hydrated during the race, you're going to be able to last just a little bit longer, okay? So make sure you have your water bottle. Let's go ahead and get warmed up here. Sit your hips all the way back. Feel the hamstring stretch. We're going to crawl forward. Step forward with your left leg. Open up towards the sky, feeling the stretch. Come right back down and keep going. We're gonna take this three more times, so it's five rotations on each side. Good. And let's go ahead and sit into a downward dog and switch to the other side. Five rotations here. Good, you'll feel a stretch across the front of the hip. You might even feel a stretch in um, the front leg where the hip is connected. Good job. Let's go ahead and step back into our downward dog. Feeling the stretch in the back of the legs, pushing your chest through your shoulders, walking your legs out. Amazing. Okay, go ahead and get on all fours here. And then we're going to stretch on to our side. So it's going to be a modified side plank. Elbow is under the shoulder. And the knee on the bottom is bent. So if you want to start with both knees bent and then come up into a side plank, that's perfectly fine. If you're chill with this, straighten out that top leg. We're going to lift and lower. We have 30 seconds here. Let's hit it. Pausing for one, for two, and then lower down. So the cool thing about what we're doing is we're going to overload this glute muscle, so the one that's on the top. I have three different exercises that are going to really overload this muscle. This is great for our knees, especially as we run. Great job, you guys. Keep going. Almost there. Make sure you're getting those pauses. The hips are on top of each other. Good job and relax. Get on all fours here. If this bothers your wrist, go ahead and drop to your forearms, okay? So what we're doing is keeping the knee at 90 degrees as we lift and lower. Your job is to make sure you don't sway over to the right side. So you're lifting, but the only thing moving is the leg that's lifting. So try to stay as stable as you can. We have our core involved with this move, which is great for running as well. If your core isn't involved, you might transfer into the lower back. Keep going, we're almost there. Great work, you guys. Good job. And last one here. Good job. Okay, so what I want you to do is drop your right elbow. The left stays straight. You're going to bring your leg out again. The toe and knee points away from you. Extend, squeeze. Inhale as you bring your knee to your elbow. And then extend, squeeze. I want you to focus on the very bottom outside part of the cheek of the leg that's kicking. So we're triggering that hard to hit area right on the outside of the cheek. Good job. You should feel your core keeping you stable. Core is involved in everything we do. You'll definitely feel it as you hit that race as well. Last one here. Whew, feeling the outside of that glute. Okay, so now we're switching sides. We have all three of those exercises on the right side as well. So you're coming up, that top leg is straight. One, for two, and lower down. So notice my shoulder's on top of my shoulder. My hip is on top of my hip. I'm not opening up towards the sky. My toe is pointed forward. If you feel that bottom glute, that's perfectly fine. It's doing its job if you're feeling it. Good job. Almost there. Great work, you guys. We have three, two, one. Great job. OK, so we're back into those hydrants. So you're on all fours. Wrists are under your shoulders, knees under the hips here. Squeeze the core, keep the knee at 90 as you lift and lower. When you lift the knee away from your body, you should feel your core fire in order to keep you perfectly still. You don't want to fall over to that left side. Great job. The stronger the sides of your glutes are, the stronger your knees are going to be. Great work, you guys. Seven more. 
keep going. Last one here, all the way up and lower. All right, so dropping that left elbow, right elbow stays straight. Toe and knee pointed away from you. Exhale as you drive out, toe and knee pointed away from you still. Inhale as your knee comes to your elbow. Drive, squeeze. So focus on what you're feeling here, mind-body connection. I feel the opposite leg, the booty is keeping me stable and that's doing its job. So it's okay if you feel the opposite booty fire. As you extend here, you should feel the bottom part of the cheek. Inhale, knee to elbow, exhale as you drive. Good job, guys. Awesome work. All right, now we're on our back for a bridge. Best exercise in the entire world. Feet are nice and wide, toes are pointed forward. Make sure the knees never cave in. Inhale and on the exhale, we're driving. Squeeze the glutes and lower. Make sure those knees do not come together. They are not homies, okay? Pushing them away from each other, squeezing the glute. Hang out at the top until you feel that glute fire. So if you're having trouble, chill up here. Push the knees away from each other. Focus mind body, squeeze that core. Good job. We're holding the top in three, two, one. Hold the top. We got 10 seconds here. Pushing the knees away from each other. Don't arch that back. Squeeze that core. Good job. We have three, two, and relax. Grab a drink of water. I encourage you to do so. All right, great work, you guys. We have one more round of this mind-booty connection. Going into that hip raise. So leg is extended on top, knee is down. We're all the way up. You have eight more seconds if you're still drinking your water. Toe is pointed forward. And here we go, two and one. Let's hit it. Remember, we have three exercises on this side. Good job. So as you work out for the Falmouth race, these uh, first sequences are amazing prep work. So right before you practice your run with Coach Yancey or on your own, these are great ways to prep the glutes for that run. The glutes should be taking a lot of the force, not the knees. So these three exercises, even the bridge, amazing. Good job, let's go ahead and get on all fours. Good job, and we have our hydrant, okay? So knee stays at 90 degrees, squeeze the core so you don't sway. We're all the way out, and then lower down. Great work. So even if you're hitting all of these exercises for repetitions, not time, I recommend a minimum of 10 reps each. Minimum, if you're using it as a warm up. Great one to do right before that Falmouth race. I'm telling you guys, makes all the difference. Activating the glutes, saves the knees and the lower back. Great job, last one here. Good job, go ahead and drop your right elbow. Toe and knee point away from you and we have our lateral kickbacks here. Inhale, knee to elbow. Exhale, drive. Try your hardest to keep yourself from falling over to the other side. Inhale, knee to elbow. Exhale, drive. Great work, you guys. Good job. Focus on the bottom outside part of that left cheek here. You may be able to feel the right cheek stabilizing you. You should be able to feel to, uh, the core. Great work. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, you guys. All right, so we're on the other side for our hip raises, overloading that right muscle here. Three, two, one. Here we go, all the way up. Lower down. Great work, you guys. Hip on top of hip. Really stabilize. And if you feel like you're fatiguing, we still have two more rounds. So I want you to fight any negative thought that's going on in your head about dropping out or anything. If your body is naturally doing it um, and it's just completely fatigued, perfectly fine. But if it's your mind, I want you to understand the difference. Good job, one more rep. Awesome work, get on all fours. Wrists under shoulder, knees under hips. And we have those hydrants in three, two, one. Lift and lower. All right, back to the difference between the mind stopping you and the body. The body will do whatever the mind says. You'll know when it's body fatigue, when you attempt to lift your leg away from you and it just won't do it. 
if your mind is thinking that you're over it or you just want to stop, check in. Is your body still moving? If it is, you got gas in the tank. Three, two, one. Go ahead and drop that left elbow, right elbow stays straight, toe and knee point away from you, and we're driving out. Inhale as you bring your knee to your chest. Here we go. Squeeze. Good job. Keep going. Really feeling the bottom outside part of that glute fire. If you don't, hang out at the top. Squeeze a little harder. Focus on that glute. We have 10. Keep going. Great work, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. And we're back into those bridges. Lie flat on your back. Feet nice and wide. Toes are forward. Knees never cave in. Here we go. Drive up. Hold for three, two. Lower down. Drive three, two. Lower down. Drive three, two. And lower. Maintain that tempo. Squeezing the core. Hang out up top even longer if you're not feeling your cheeks. Good job. Push the knees away from each other. Heels stay on the ground the entire time. We have five, four, three, two. Hold the top. We have 10. Push the knees away from each other. Squeeze that core. Make sure you're not arching your back. Squeeze, squeeze. We have four, three, two, and one. Grab a drink of water. You guys are doing amazing. Always, always drink water. All right, you guys. A new circuit we're taking two times through. We're starting with jumping jacks, and then I'll cue you on the rest of the exercises. This one is meant for the heart rate. Again, if you feel like you want to stop or you're dropping out of it, just remember it's 30 seconds, and then we're moving on. You can do anything for 30 seconds, I promise you. Let's hit this. Jumping jacks, light in the toes. 30 seconds. Light in the toes, guys. Squeezing that core. Smile while you do it. If you're grimacing, you're sending negative signals to the brain. This is a treat for us. Treating our bodies so we're really prepared for the Falmouth race. And you're going to crush it. Good job, guys. Keep going. We have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. All right. We're going to stand nice and tall. Our right leg is going to stay straight. Our left leg is going to travel to the side, pushing the hip back. Drive up. Squeeze. Travel to the side, push the hip back. Lock in that knee here. That leg stays straight. You feel a stretch on that inner thigh. And then here, we're taking power through the heel, driving up. If you're having trouble driving through the heel, you can step a little bit more forward. So if I'm starting at the end of my yoga mat, I'm stepping towards the other side. So the front corner here. Good job, you guys. Great work. And shake it off, we're switching to the other side. So again, if you're having trouble pushing your heel through the floor and your heel's coming off the ground, step a little bit more forward. You're still stepping to the side, you're just not going directly in line with that other leg. Pushing the hip back, feel that stretch, drive. And if you don't feel the stretch, you may be a little more flexible than me, and that is very common. Good job, guys. Keep going, we got 10 seconds. You're crushing it. Great work. Good job, we have three, two, one. Here's what I want you to do for this one. Take that step again, push the hip back, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna stay low as if there's a wall on top of us. We're gonna push to the other side, just like we're in that lateral lunge on the other side. Push, your hands can go out if you need balance. Here we go. So each time you're on the other side, it looks like we're doing that lateral lunge we just hit. This is great mobility for the hips. Squeeze the core so you're not arching your back too much. Picture that wall on top of you. Don't touch that wall. Good job, guys. Keep going. Almost there. Good job. We have three, two, one. Ooh, that feels amazing on the hips. Okay. Heels are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Let's go ahead and turn our toes one inch away from each other. Only one inch. From here, we're going to lower down with control. We're going to pump on the bottom, drive up and squeeze, pushing the hips back. 
as if you're sitting in a chair. Don't let those knees come forward. The hips bend before the knees do. So pushing the hips back and then the knees will follow, okay? We're not bending the knees first. That's when the chest stays parallel as your knees go forward, okay? We have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. All right, a little bit of core work here. Let's go ahead and crawl up into a high plank. We're gonna sit the hips up into a downward dog, stretching out our posterior legs. Coming up, knee to elbow. Down dog, other knee to other elbow. Good job. So we're going straight up to the outside of the elbow here. Good job. Sit back. Amazing work, you guys. Keep going. Keep going, almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome work. All right, shake your shoulders off. We have a mountain climber. 30 seconds in a fast paced move feels like a minute, so I want you to get out of your head about it. Here we go. High plank, let's hit it. Mountain climber, find the rhythm. Your wrists, elbows, and knee all in line. <laughs> wrists, elbows, and shoulders. <laughs> going straight to the chest here. I know it's burning those shoulders. Stay with me, almost there. We got 10. Come on, you can do it. Don't let that mind get in the way. Here we go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, go ahead and hit a child's pose. Deep inhale and exhale. All right, shake those shoulders off. Grab a drink of water and just think for a second. What was your mind saying when you were hitting that last 30 seconds? Check in with that. Because at the end of the day, you're here to prep yourself for a race that you're hitting to benefit not just you and your body, but other young girls around the world. And we're doing this virtually, and you're crushing it. So whatever negative thoughts you have, let's hit that jumping jack. I want that to come out of your head, because you're already amazing just by showing up. No negative thoughts here. Acknowledge them. See that they're there. Push them away. You are winning, even if you're just watching me do this right now. You're already showing up and crushing it. Good job, keep going. We're on our last round. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have those lateral lunges. So again, if you can't go perfectly to the side, that's just a goal to have for next time, right? So we're gonna step forward a little bit more, sitting the hips back, if you can't drive through that heel, okay? So if you're perfectly to the side, your heel's coming off the floor, all I want you to do, step a little bit more forward. Still pulling the hips back. That other leg is still straight. And we're breaking the momentum. So when you take that step, sit down for a little bit, then drive up. Don't pop right back up using momentum, okay? We have three, two, one. Awesome work, you guys. All right, switching to the other side. See, it goes by super fast when you really focus on your mind-body connection. Let's hit it. Good job. Crushing it. So if you notice, your hips should be a little more mobile now. As we keep hitting these like side to side exercises, stretching out the inner thigh, stretching out that outer thigh. Very, very good to have mobile hips during a run. It's amazing. We have three, two, one. Remember how we set up for this exercise. Take that step into your lateral lunge. Push the hip back. We have three, two, and we hit that other side. Stay low. How low can you go? Keep your hips back. Those knees never leave the floor, okay? Toes are pointed forward. Pushing the hips back. Check in with your lower back. Make sure you're not arching. Great work, you guys. Keep going. Whew. Awesome job. You got this. We have six. Good work. In three, two, one. Great job. Shake it off. Feet 
are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Toes are forward. Move them one inch away from each other. Hands can go in prayer or here. We're down low. Pump and drive. Down low. Pump and drive. Great work, you guys. Whew. Squeeze the core. Make sure you're not arching your back as you hit this lower part. Good job. 10. Great work. Three, two, one. All right, we got those cores. All right, down dog knee drive. So the theme of this one is we're gonna go cross body. So let's get into our high plank, and here we go. Sitting our hips back, left knee to right elbow, and then back. Right knee to left elbow. Same thing with our mountain climbers. Make sure when you're sitting back, you're hitting a downward dog, so hips are up. Good job. The reason we're doing this is because every time your hips go up, you're stretching the more commonly overactive muscles, the tighter muscles. So make sure you're hitting that. We have three, two, one. Let's hold this high plank here. Okay, we're gonna crush this. No negative thoughts, you got this. We have those mountain climbers cross body in three, two. Let's go girls, come on. Keep those hips low. You got this. Come on, keep going. Do it for the girls. Come on, keep going, we're almost there, we're halfway. Don't stop. Come on, almost there. Keep going, we got five. Don't stop, go faster, you got this. Two and one, child's pose. Deep inhale, exhale. One more for me. Good job. So we're gonna come up into a pigeon. That left leg is gonna come forward. The shin goes across your body and you're gonna try to lie as flat as you can. If this is difficult to get into, you can always sit back and hit a figure four here. So leg is across, falling forward, feeling the outside of that left cheek. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, switch sides. Good job. All right. Focus on that stretch. Try to keep the hip down. And I challenge you, every time you revisit one of these workouts that we're doing for you guys, if you have any resistance, whether it's dumbbells, kettlebells, big water bottle, um, your little brother, whatever it is, um, try to challenge yourself with more weight. The more comfortable you get with the exercises, the more you can add resistance and you'll get better. Let's go ahead and come back into that downward dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Shake it out here. Right hand goes down. Right leg bends. Left leg stays straight. Open up towards the ceiling. Deep inhale. Exhale. And switch to the other side. Bend the knee. Straighten the right knee, deep inhale, and exhale. Good job, let's roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. All right, you guys, thank you so much for working out with me. Again, no matter what, no matter how difficult things get, I want you to know you are absolutely incredible for doing what you're doing here with the Falmouth race. You're treating yourself, you're treating your body, you're raising money, I know it's hard, but the things that you're benefiting is more than yourself. So that why is so big and I thank you so much. All right, you guys, oh. Oh. I'll see you <laughs> next workout. Bye guys.